if the modulus of z plus 3 minus 2i is equal to the modulus of x minus 3 minus 4i, sketch the locus of z on an Argand diagram find and find the Cartesian equation that represents this loc locus. Okay, so we've got the absolute value of z plus 3 minus 2i is equal to the absolute value of z minus 3 minus 4i. If we let z be equal to x plus i y, the general form of a complex number, we've got x plus i y plus 3 minus 2i, a modulus of, is equal to z, which is going to be the modulus of x plus i y minus 3 minus 4i. Now the next thing to do is to collect or group together the real and the imaginary part. So the real bit here is x plus 3. Still got the modulus sign and the imaginary part is going to be y minus 2. We'll put the i out in front there. Here on this one we've got x minus uh, 3 and here we've got i y minus 4. Right, if we uh, now take the idea that the modulus of z is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, so of the real bit and the imaginary bit. Um, if we square both sides, then we, we don't have to worry about the square root. So this will become just x plus 3 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared is equal to x minus 3 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared. Expanding this is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Expanding y minus 2 all squared is y squared minus 4y plus 4. They're all perfect squares. And x minus 3 all squared will be x minus 6x plus 6. And y minus 4 all squared will be y squared minus 8y plus 16. Right, a little bit of cancelling now will reduce this down. So the x squares cancel out, the 9s cancel out in this case, and the y squared cancel out. Therefore, on this side, we've got uh, minus 4y plus 8y, which makes 4y. And then on the other side, we've got uh, minus 6x, and then minus 6x here, we get minus 12x. And then taking the 4 here, we're going to get plus 12. Dividing through by 4, we get that y is equal to minus 3x plus 3. So this is represented by drawing the line minus 3x plus 3. So if we now draw our Argand diagram, we mark on our two complex numbers. So this complex number will be minus 3 plus 2i, and this one will be 3 plus 4i. And then if we want to mark on our line uh, y is equal to minus 3x plus 3, we start here at 3, and for every one along we go 3 down. For every one along we go 3 down using y is equal to mx plus c, we notice that this line is in fact the perpendicular bisector of these two complex numbers on the Argan diagram, i.e. that distance is the same as this distance, and this angle here is 90 degrees, and therefore the locus of z is perpendicular to the line segment joining minus 3, 2 and 3, 4. Now we can look at this on this GeoGebra app and I'll put the link in the notes of the video. So here we have our two complex number, Z1 and Z2. If we click down here, we will see that this gives me the perpendicular bisector of those two points. And the great thing about this app, of course, is you can move it around and do other values of complex numbers. You can move them around using the sliders, so that, that will be quite a useful resource for you to check your work. And everything should change accordingly here. Just move that along a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so this has been a video to show you uh, one modulus of a complex number of z minus a complex number is equal to the modulus of z minus the other complex number, and then drawing that on a Argand diagram. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. I remind you the GeoGebra app link will be in the notes of the video.